So, Gilbert Arenas, the gift that keeps on giving, man, gave us another terrible take. And this time it said about Jokic, it's about another European because, oh man, he can't get enough of them. Do the big media give Euros this long leash? This long leash of, hey, just play basketball, right? And they micromanage uh, everyone else. Yeah. I think I, is that a is that a real thing or is it just me? Now let me stop here and say this: What Gilbert Arenas is about to say, I want to be clear. Just knowing people behind the scenes, myself as well, he's not the only like American born player who feels this way. And also, Gil, just to answer your question, no. On this channel alone, I have several videos debunking some of the most ridiculous takes about Jokic and Giannis over the past like two to three years, some of which were made on this platform itself. So, uh, uh no, that's that's not true. There's several people who criticize a lot of foreign born players over the past couple of years so that's just not true jason tatum damn near can't be in a superstar because a 25 year old can't make it uh, win a championship i think that jason tatum right of uh, course is very strong. He's, he's a young he's a young kid still is that we're not talking about he went to the championship at the age of damn near 22 23 24 and then you have luke over here who's compared to michael jordan and he's james harden Yo, who the who who the fuck is comparing Luca to Michael Jordan? Who's doing that? Like, I, genuinely speaking, who's comparing Luca to Michael Jordan? I've I've never heard such comps. But before we get to that, because my goodness, that that right there, whoa, wow, that's a that's a doozy there. To the Jason Tatum thing, it's very interesting that you sit here and say that Jason Tatum can't be a superstar because everybody's so critical. But like, literally, like two or three weeks ago, you were telling how Jason Tatum wasn't a superstar, and your standards of what it takes to be a superstar was just outrageously high. You yourself don't believe that he's a superstar. So I don't understand where that's, where that's coming from. Also, when it comes to Tatum, a lot of people really wouldn't be that critical of him if it wasn't for this abnormal and weird level of praise that he's been receiving over the last month or two, in particular from Kendrick Perkins and Stephen A. Smith, because it feels like they're trying to force him into conversations that he doesn't belong in, in large part because, and at least I believe this as well, in large part because he's an American-born player and they want to see a face of the league be from America. But in a much wider scope, I think the biggest reason why why many people are being more critical and putting a lot more pressure on Tatum is because even though, yes, he's young, and even though, yes, what he's accomplished so far in his career is impressive, he's not in a normal young player situation, a young star situation, right? Most young players, a draft pick means that they're getting drafted by a really bad team. So when they don't see a level of success or they struggle a little bit, it's easy to just write it off as, hey, they're on a bad team. If they're put in a better situation, they can perform better. And normally that takes about five to six years, sometimes the complete seven years that they're stuck on a franchise and they have to leave somewhere else and then try to perform on another team, right? Tatum is not in that situation. Tatum from day one was on a competent franchise with a really good roster and as time has progressed he has evolved and gotten better as a player and so has the roster and right now he's on undeniably the most talented team in the NBA and so a lot of people are starting to say hey though he's young if you really are that player taking that next leap into superstardom shouldn't be that difficult as it was for other players in the early stages of their careers because they didn't have the talent you don't have that excuse you have the talent and so if you struggle to win with this team throughout the rest of your career you might not be on another team this talented so you need to take advantage of the opportunity that's in front of you that's i think that's the biggest reason why people are that critical of tatum but luca being compared to jordan i ain't never heard that he's literally james harden right a dude who scored a lot of points don't play no defense right but we we see what they did to James Harden, who didn't play defense. They let the world know he didn't play no defense. They let the world know he was a one-sided player. This is all he do. He's just a stat. Luca is considered the next Michael Jordan. I'm floor. I've never heard Luca be compared to Michael Jordan. I actually need to look this up right now. Let me see. Luca draft day comparison. What was what was Luca being compared to in the draft? Tony Kukoc and Hiru Turkulu. Okay, so not Michael Jordan. Let me just type in Luca comparison. Here's TNT comparing him to Dirk. Dre on Green Show with uh, Mark Cuban comparing him to Dirk again. Okay. Draymond Green again compares him to LeBron. There, there's a LeBron comp. Okay. Okay. Richard Jefferson also compares him to LeBron. Okay. I think th this is pretty steep, but no, no Michael Jordan. Matter of fact, let me just type in Luka Doncic compared to Jordan. Okay. Here we go. Jason Kidd. Luka Doncic is better than Dirk in the realm of Michael Jordan. Okay. So, so 
his head coach threw in the comp of Michael Jordan. That's the only person I've seen compare him to. So I don't know where Gilbert Arenas is coming from when he says all this major media is comparing him to Michael Jordan. His own coach is making a hyperbolic statement about his young star. That's common. I don't really, that, that, that happens pretty often. I don't know why he's overreacting to that. But to sit here to say that mainstream media members are comparing him to Michael Jordan is a stretch when I don't, I didn't see anything of it at all. Can he say he's better than James Harden at scoring? Can't even do that. They can't even, you can't even argue that he's a better scorer than James Harden in that same category. But he's considered the next Michael Jordan. And I guarantee you, they wouldn't even put his ass in front of Larry Bird. Made the argument who's better, Larry Bird or Luca. Media shut the fuck up then. I, I just, it just be those things okay. like, well, like, you know I me, mean? I like scoring, you know, and the scoring is the scoring. Yeah. But like, be fair when you're, when you're, when you're, 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 you're doing these situations, right? You just sat there and said, be fair. And then in the same breath, not too long ago, you said, hey, we can't even properly appreciate the fact that Jason Tatum at, you know, 21, 22, 23, got his team to the finals because we got to make him a superstar all of a sudden. He ain't good enough. But then you're, you're saying that is Luca 20, what, 23, 24, just turned 25 like two months ago. You're comparing him to James Harden and Larry Bird? Like, what are you, what are you doing right now? You, you're you contradicting what you just did. You just sat there and said, hey, we should really appreciate Jason Tatum, what he's doing at the age that he is at. But then you're just sitting here and ignoring the fact that Luca at like 23, 24, 25 is posting up all time great numbers. Euro has been good, but let's just be honest. This is two, it's two championships in the last, what, 15 some years as, as a lead dog. You know, like Giannis and Giannis and Joker, or? Giannis and Joker, and then yeah, I think that's what I said last. Yeah. You know, so you know, for for all of history, it's three Euro championships. This is the reason why people think that you're xenophobic. Like, who are you reacting to? Like, who's doing all of this unnecessary praising to these players? I, I just don't get it at all. To sit here, and it, it'd be one thing if like people were saying DeMontis Sabonis is like the top 10 player in the NBA, like that would be gassing it. But saying that Giannis, Jokic, Luka, top three, top five players in the league, that's not a stretch. They, they genuinely are that great. Praising Giannis and Jokic, both won championships, two-time league MVP, MVPs, putting up historic numbers, praising them is fine. Like they're, they're, they're checking off all of the boxes that are necessary to put them in conversations that would justify them being compared to like all time greats. Luka Doncic, 22, 23, 24, like putting up crazy historic numbers. It's okay to put him in certain conversations because he is exceeding expectations by such a lofty margin, especially when his draft day comps were Hidu Turkulu and Tony Kukoc. Like I, I don't understand understand like where you're coming from but you sound like the same white men back in the in the in the 50s and 60s like oh all this praise all these blacks now like that's what you sound like bro it's, it's justified so you feel like the american media holds american players to a or i would say higher standard but more critical yeah. of they're them than they are compared more to yeah for critical. sure critical yeah I, I think they're just so i think they're just so intrigued with opening up the the world to basketball that it's like they're like that parent that's coaching his kid, right? Okay. You're, you so your, yeah. you're so hard on your own kid and you let everybody else do that where your kid starts to despise you. <laughs> That's exactly what ha was happening with NBA players in the media. Yeah, like the, 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 the yeah, NBA overall. players is hating the American media because like, yo, the dude doing the same thing. We both taking the same, checking, I'm 38 and 12, 36 and 12. I need to pass the ball, I'm a ball hog, the offense ain't worth shit, you know, I'm this type of player. He doing the same thing. Oh, Luke is the greatest thing since sliced bread. And he's like, ah, come on, dog. But the irony of it all is that there's one person I've seen in the media compare Luca to Jordan, and it was his own head coach. James Harden got that exact same treatment at that same time. Darren Moore came out and said, it un undeniably, unequivocally, it's just a fact that James Harden is a better scorer than Michael Jordan. James Harden actually got the MJ comparison. And then people across major media entertain that concept of being the next Michael Jordan from a scoring perspective or the best scorer since Michael Jordan. Like they actually entertain that. Jason Kidd said that, and I don't think anybody, I, I genuinely, and to be fair, 
I don't really listen to ESPN and all these other, you know, major media sites. I don't really listen to them. So maybe I could be wrong, but I didn't hear any of that. To, to a degree, I understand where he's coming from. And shout out to Lexi. She said this same thing as well later on in this video, but let me just reiterate it. Part of the reason why players who came up through the college game in America, AAU high school game in America, that, that whole system, the reason why it's easier for people to tear them down is because they've been pedestalized since the beginning of their careers. So when you have someone like Andy Andrew Wiggins coming to the NBA and he's getting Kobe Bryant comps and he's being called Maple Jordan. The expectations are so high and it's so easy to tear him down if he doesn't meet those expectations. LeBron came into the league with the chosen one. That, that was his idea. So his expectations were set here. Kevin Durant's expectations were set here. Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Ben Simmons came into the NBA being compared to LeBron James. Lonzo Ball came into the NBA being compared to Magic Johnson and Jason Kidd, right? So all of these American born players players come into the NBA with expectations of who they are supposed to be. While on the other side, when Giannis and Jokic came into the league, nobody cared about them. Nobody wasn't talking about them. So they weren't pedestalized. So it, there was nothing to critique them because you never applied any type of expectations on them to begin with. Feels like it's more um, unbalanced praise being given to them without the criticism, but the criticism really just stems from lofty expectations that we put on American born players that we just don't put on foreign athletes. And honestly, the only two foreign born players that I truly believe breaks that mold is Wimby and Luca. That's it. Like right now, Sangoon is out there putting up great numbers in Houston and nobody cares. No one gives a damn. But if that team goes on to exceed expectation, Houston is making deep postseason runs and he just becomes, let's just say, an all NBA caliber player, face of the franchise type player, he's going to start to receive a lot of praise. And you're going to be like, oh, why, why ain't y'all criticizing him? Why ain't criticizing Because Y'all didn't care about him now. Nobody was covering him right now. You are, Gil is on a podcast. I don't want to be clear. If any nigga who is receiving MJ comps, it's the black American born out of Atlanta, Georgia, playing in Minnesota right now. Gil is on a podcast with a nigga and Rashard McCant, who has openly stated several times that Anthony Edwards gives him Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant vibes. That, that is the media problem. Because again, you are going out of your way to pedestal pedestalize this player. So I agree with what he's saying. When you don't pedestalize somebody, when you don't give them any expectations, then yes, it's hard to tear them down from anything because you never you never propped them up in the first place. But that's not a, a, a European problem. That's not, that's just a lazy American problem. And quite frankly, it's also just bad journalism, bad analysts, bad media press or media runner regardless. But it's odd to me that you are completely removing all of the praise that American players receive from day one before they even get into the NBA. Again, some of these players are being compared to Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Magic Johnson. They were pegged in position to be the next best thing while all these other players who are, who are Europeans who are coming overseas, they got drafted in the mid to late first round or even second round and nobody gave a fuck about them for the first five or six years of their careers. But yo, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Also check out my last Gilbert Arenas video right here where he was talking about how Jokic is the worst MVP in the last 40 years, which is crazy. But until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace.